representation of being a black man in Hollywood. Hmm. And then I'll even add to a layer of that a black heterosexual male in mm. Hollywood. Well, if you all go ahead, though. So, you know, let's, let's kind of unpack that. Yeah. Do you think, you know, if if you maybe play the game a certain way and you, I will also suggest if you were in a, a homosexual man, do you think that would have altered your career? A thousand percent. Because I'm the type of heterosexual man that will not compromise for two reasons. Okay. One, um, I'm the type of person that moves around in the world. So I know how, you know, I, I couldn't do something even if I'm like, all right, fine, it's just acting. And then you meet somebody like, damn, I saw you with that movie. And I say, oh, hell no, they don't listen, man, that's acting. I, I, I move around. So that's one thing. That's that's part of it. Other, I won't be able to do it justice. I just say, uh, there's certain roles I just wouldn't even consider because I'm not going to be able to pull it off, man. I'm, I'm offending them more than they going to be offended by me saying something slanderous. They're going to be just like, oh, come on now, really? You know? And I just, you know, it, 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 that's the tip of the iceberg, you know, and I just don't feel, you know, this is funny. I talk to, to, to a lot of uh, up, up and coming youth and people that are in, in, inspired and say, oh, man, I'd love to do this. And, you know, I'm waiting for my one shot. Listen, keep waiting. Don't feel like you should give it to them sometimes. Look, don't feel like you have to do anything. You don't have to do nothing. You get your shot. Your time will come. You might have to wait longer. You might have to you gut it out for a little bit. But there's no have to. Nobody say, oh, everybody puts on a dress. Not everybody. I ain't seen Denzel put on their lip gloss. I ain't seen that boy do anything where I've been like, oh, no, you too? I'm sorry. I mean, but I'm just serious. It's, it's, I, I don't believe the you had to do it anyway. You don't have to go there, but yeah, maybe lead them on a little. I'm just, being, I'm just keeping it a buck. You know, I was like, mm, I told him no, and I didn't get the part. Maybe you should have said maybe, and then you know, and then no later. Like you know what I mean? Like there's, there's, you can play the game. They do it all the time. How many yeah. times you done wind and dine and did all that? And then she said, see you tomorrow. And you was like, damn. But you got the free drink. That makes me, you know, it, this is this is this is great. This is great because it makes me think. Okay, one of the first things I recognize about Omar is a smile, approachable. Yeah. And it makes me think about Hollywood, and I think about Terry Crews' situation. <laughs> Approachable. <laughs> right. Let's unpack that. <laughs> that was wild to me, too. It was just like, where are you? You know, it's funny, too. Yeah. Um, this is wild. I remember... Damn, can I tell this story? Man, it's fine. Uh, I remember when my brother... <sighs> this is a tough one. Well, let's try to tiptoe around it, because this is the world we live in. Basically, he was kind of propositioned or something, and he told my father about it. Like, this is what happens in Hollywood all the time. But I was like, what? You mean to tell me this man asked you if you ever decide not to be a man, to call it like that, and you was okay with that, you know? And I had heard that, and that made me go, damn. You know what I mean? And not to, not, I don't know, maybe some people seem more approachable and that could have been because of the roles he's taken you know we've seen boat trip we've seen things that make you go damn nigga why uh and maybe that made him seem approachable but i've never been a pro. I, you know i but i've also had that well i wish we could, but they, and they know they don't be just like nah not him but this one i ooh, i take you oh my 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 you don't bring me oh my you probably didn't tell that well, what I'm saying is, say? yeah, well, I, well, I would react if they just, they understand, they would look and go, nah, don't mess with that one. Like, I remember, I, this is funny, too, because I remember, yeah, this is a better story to tell. Smart guy, right? One of the episodes of Smart Guy, the the uh, writers came into my dressing room and said, we want to talk to you about an episode we have coming up. We think it'll be real funny, but we want to make sure that you're okay with it. And I was like, yeah, tell me the story. So what the story is, uh, TJ um, and Mo are parents of an egg but tj's gonna be more like the dad and mo would be like the mom but you're not gonna put on a dress you don't have to wear any makeup or anything like that it's just the way you respond will be like the protective mom where he'll be more like the dismissive dad and it'll be hilarious if oh, and i was like you brought all y'all in here to tell me this like i was gonna start fighting people like what i wish y'all would but they they really knew like I'm just if you just read it and trust me and i was like all right i'll read it and i read it and it was hysterical and of course i did it was nothing you know it was funny i think there's ways to be clever and funny like and it's funny i was doing uh family time 91 episodes right 
I keep saying how many episodes we did. We did a lot of episodes with him. And after a while, I pride myself on being funny without having to do physical comedy. They say, oh, we got this. We want you to fall on the floor and laugh. It'll be hilarious. Why do I got to fall on the floor and make it funny? I bet you I can look at him a certain way or find a way to say the line. It'll be funny. Oh, we think it'd be great if you had on the wig with the blah, blah, blah. Why would I have to do it? I think I can do it this way and so forth and so on. Then I gained weight. They were like, we're going to do all these fat jokes. <laughs> I was like, fat jokes, huh? All right, I maybe let one or two slide, but after a while, you watch your mouth. You know, and I had to, at, I'm sorry, at a certain point, I was like, yeah, you're about to cut them fat jokes out. We're going to be fighting. Like, I'm serious. Like, it's, 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 I was like, it's not a game. And they writers would write it, and I come out, hey, man, what I say about it? He's like, oh, you're right, yeah, cut all those, let's move 